Today, we're going to be tying an underutilized fly pattern that deserves a spot in your fly box. To start, grab some small copper wire, secure it to the hook shank, wrapping well into the bend of the hook. At which point, we'll reverse our thread's direction back to the head of the fly. If you have a rotary vise, put in a couple turn whip finish and set your thread to the side. We'll then grab our wire and use your vise's rotary function to wrap it towards the head of the fly. If your vise doesn't have a rotary function, you can simply do this by hand. Today is also the airing of the first ever Mainly Flies podcast. You can find that on my second channel, linked here. The primary focus will be to answer your fly tying questions. So if there's anything you want to know more detail about, be sure to leave it in the comments of the most recent podcast. Once we reach the hook point, we'll grab our thread and secure the wire tightly in place, taking thread wrap both in front as well as behind and helicoptering the excess free. We'll then grab some tinsel. Here I'm using a gold hollow tinsel. Secure it to one side of our fly, wrapping back towards the wire. Repeating this process with the other side. Secure tightly and begin to build up a larger head than our body. Fold your tinsel over and secure it to the head of the fly. Take your time to ensure they're oriented how you like. With this complete, snip the excess free and whip finish to hold everything in place and cover your tag ends. Snip your thread free and grab some bone dry UV resin to paint over the body as well as the head. Fix in place with the UV light and add a second drop to the head of the fly. We want to make this look a little bit larger than the body. Fix with UV light and this is the brass It's a highly productive fly pattern that often gets overlooked and they work exceptionally well in the spring and winter months. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.